Welcome to another video. I have already covered Aider and Maestro, which help you create great applications easily without copying and pasting code. Instead, these applications write the code for you and arrange everything, so you only need to give a text prompt. You can also request changes if needed. It's like having a pair programmer. Today, I have another similar tool, which is Plandex. Plandex is very similar to Aider. It's also a kind of pair programmer that you can use. You can give it separate code files or your entire code base, and it can refactor, create new files, and do almost anything a real programmer would do. What makes it a little different is that it first makes a plan and then executes it, similar to Maestro and Aider. It also uses Git version control. So, if it makes any changes you don't like, you can easily revert them. You can also try different approaches by creating multiple branches. They also have a rewind command to undo changes. Additionally, it does not directly commit the changes. Instead, it first makes the changes. And if you think the task is done, then it commits the changes. It's pretty cool. It will also show you code diffs about the exact changes, and it will also detail the changes made and where. It can also show logs and everything about each of the changes and what prompt was used for it, which is also pretty cool. Also, you can add only the relevant files to the context to save on API costs, or you can add your entire code base as well. By default, Plandex uses OpenAI, but we can also use it with a wide range of other models like Claude, Gemini, and any OpenAI-compatible API. You can even use local models through Alama because Alama gives you an OpenAI-compatible API. I'll be telling you how to set it up with local models. So, let's get it installed and check it out. To install it, just go to their GitHub page and copy the quick install command. Paste it in your terminal. This will install Plandex on your computer. Once done, we'll need to install the Plandex server as well. To do that, you just need to run these three commands from their GitHub page. Once you run these commands, the Plandex server should get started. First, let me show you how to use it with the default OpenAI model, and then I'll show you how to use it with Olama for local models. To use it with OpenAI, you'll need to set up your API key. Just run this command with your API key, and it will be added to your terminal environment. I'll be using a new directory for this demonstration. I created a file named add two numbers, where I'll ask it to put a program that adds two numbers. Once you are in the directory where you want to perform the operations, run the Plandex new command. The first time you run it, you'll be asked what you want to use. They offer a Plandex cloud service and other options. I'll be using my own server, so just select the second option. For the next option, also choose the second option. Next, you'll be asked to enter the host. Enter localhost and port 8080. Once done, you'll be asked for an email. Just enter any email address. Then, you'll then be asked for a verification code, which you can find in the Docker logs. Once you enter the code, everything will be set up. Now, we can start using it. First, we need to load a file into the context. Use the Plandex load command along with the file name. Once done, you can use the Plandex tell command to perform an operation. I'm asking it to create a Python program to add two numbers. When you run it, it will complete the task. Once the task has been done, you'll have multiple options to perform, like viewing the changes, checking the code diffs, applying or rejecting changes, viewing logs, or rewinding. By applying, it doesn't mean the changes aren't done. The changes are made, but haven't been committed yet in the Git branch. Let's apply the changes. Once you run the command, 
you'll be asked to confirm the commit. After you confirm, the changes will be committed. Now, let's look at the code. As you can see, the code looks pretty cool. Let's run it. It works fine. So, this is how it works. It's a bit of a hassle to set up, but it's pretty cool after that. Now, let me show you how to set it up with local models. First, let's install Olama. Go to Olama's site, click the download button, choose your operating system, and get it installed. Once done, go to the models page and choose the model you want to use. I'll be using the DeepSeq Coder V2 model. Click it and copy the installation command. Paste it in your terminal and get it installed. Once installed, you'll see a chat interface in your terminal. Send a message to check if it works. Once checked, we need to add the model to Plandex. Run the Plandex model add command. Select the custom provider option. You'll be asked to enter a provider name. For better management, let's name it Olama. Next, enter the model name, which in our case is DeepSeq Coder V2. Now, Enter a description if you like which is optional. Next, you'll be asked to enter the base URL. For Olama, enter the provided URL. Then, you'll also need to enter the environment variable to be used as the API key. Just enter the OpenAI API key here. Next, write the context limit of the model. In my case, it's 128K. Enter the default values and the model will be created. We need to set the default model. Run the Plandex set model default command. Go through the options one by one and set the default model to Olama. Once done, we can use it. Let's ask it to add a function to multiply numbers. It will complete the task and you can apply, revert, and perform other actions. Check if it works. Overall, this tool is pretty cool, almost like Maestro and Ader. I'd put it above Maestro, but I prefer Ader more than this because it's very easy to install and use. It provides a good interactive chat interface and everything. So, I'll keep using Ader, but this one is also pretty good. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.